The Canadian sent us a gift this morning. It's chilly. He's opening the gate in the back. He must have saw a sick critter. We treated two last night, but that's weaning. Just trying to keep things healthy. Ellie, go. Don't slip in the poop. Good job, Ellie. <laughs> Kept kicking at me. Didn't like it. to 30s in a day it is chilly we had two bales to feed then we got to move that auger then we got to go work on corn harvest what do you say about that ellie windy when the fence starts helping you hold stuff. Alright, we got the fun job of taking this down, getting it over there, and putting it back in. Looks like Dad already cranked the swingway up a bit. See if we can not do some damage. Since our auger is so long and we don't have the biggest yard, I gotta drive out that driveway, come around, come this way, and then back up to it. We'll drive around the horn, see if we can not hit that on a power line or something. Oh, we're getting close to that tree. Oh, we're all right. Gonna be close to that mailbox. Oh, just underneath it. I need to have a, gotta have a neck like an owl for that. Just staring backwards. friend Ryan was helping you harvest one year and I was around while he was dumping corn over here and he got on the inside of the bin and that's when for some reason these things weren't working very good it might have been that one yeah it doesn't work very good but he got on the inside of the bin anyway he says to me Cole for future reference don't fart in a hot bin no okay that's the takeaway from I'm our big bins are 32,000 bushel and so for some easy math, it takes about 32 semi-loads of corn to fill those. He's looking a little better. 
I'm not seeing as much rib. I can see tons of hip yet, but yeah, I think you're getting a little better there, ma'am. Are you gro are you growing these? Hey, <laughs> you gotta. What you get into? I reckon some bristly foxtail. Come here. Back well, in my day, we called them weeds. Hey, will you just let me? It's a good thing she's shedding right before winter. Oh man. Why are you biting me? <laughs> Keep playing, Ellie. Hey. <laughs> I think he's gonna win this battle. I'm gonna try lubing this auger again. Yeah, we got problems. Yesterday this bearing was going out. And now it doesn't, yeah, it don't turn at all. Yeah, that ain't good. So that's gonna wear out this belt. Then we gotta buy a new belt. So I guess we're running town? Yeah. Okay. Jeff's here. I heard of the combine yesterday. We could hear some squealing, and it was that bearing, it was wobbling. And so at some point yesterday, could have been pretty early in the day, that might have been rubbing for a while after that pulley seized up and quit spinning. Anyway, I'm going to get down in here, lube that spot, and then we're going to run to town and try to find a pulley. Brian Spanky. First repair of the year, Cole. Yeah. Been it's good. Just this little thing, not too bad. Just a thing. Only $32. I didn't look. I got snot coming out of my nose too. It's a bad look. I'm just so happy that what? <laughs> the bolt didn't fall? No, that's just, um, I got the water in the eye. See it? Right there. And the nose. Yeah. yeah that's, Did you get it tight? I don't know if that's Is tear it or tight? booger. It's pretty, it's pretty taut, but yeah, it wants to turn. So, all right, let's get the flock out of here. I'm just so happy. <laughs> I got trucks waiting. Let's go. Chicken for Uncle Jeff. Finally, it's only about 12 o'clock. Finally, gonna get going. The plan was to finish this field. Now it's gonna, it's gonna get kind of late by the time we're towards the end of it. Oh, breeze is nasty out there. So take a look at this. This is the pulley, and you can see some of the guts in there. Yesterday we noticed it had a wobble to it. Right when we started the combine, I could hear it, but crank on that can't even turn it by oh just a little bit oh now there's more guts falling out of it yeah but it seized up it got so hot that paint started bubbling a little and then it turned again and then it sat right there got that paint to bubble it got pretty warm so good thing i'm sure we took a few rotations of life off that belt and we replaced that before last season so this one just had a season and a half on it. I don't want to be under the auger with these dips. Watch how it comes down. It's kind of subtle, but a little bit more, you can be getting it stuck down in the grain cart, and sometimes you get stuck in there, and it's not a good deal. You see the comment all the time, man, farmers got it easy now with these fancy tractors with the AC and some have massage seats. Well, I tell you what, after so many weeks of being in the tractor, your elbows get so sore from having them sitting down on this nice platform with all your buttons right here. Just, oh, you just gotta 
you know, rub some extra lotion on your elbows. We do have it tough. It's hard out here. And sometimes, despite wearing a fancy pair of Ray-Bans, the dust still gets in your eyes. Good gracious. I, I need at least four mental health days a week. getting down to 27 degrees tonight that's below freezing two-thirds done of this field we're getting way down the field to where I got to drive a long ways to the trucks which are back there we got another gate on this east side so after this pass dad's gonna start working over there so we can get some corn away from that gate and start dumping on the east side versus me driving half mile round trip every single time in my air-conditioned and heated seats you know all that bumping through that field it's really drying out that elbow as we were talking earlier pick dad up so he can bring that other semi to this side of the field that's like the number one hardest thing in farming i wouldn't say hardest it's just most annoying thing is getting equipment to where you need it because you need so many pieces. We got a tractor, a combine, two semis, and a pickup in this field. Three guys moving equipment constantly. Picking up one guy and bringing them here. This uses a lot of time. We got three more hours of work in here. It's about 2.30, so we'll be done before dark. And then, of course, we'll want to walk through the calves again. Yesterday morning, we walked through them. We saw one. We treated it. But then just in the afternoon, a few hours later, we saw three more that didn't stand out in the morning, but during the afternoon sure did, and they needed a shot. Got a lot done. I think these bowls across the road with like a spritzer of the golden nugget. I don't know if she's typing or building the house. Jeepers, creepers. I'm a speedy typer. Do you pick your arms all the way up before you hit a key? Just slapping them buttons. How many keyboards do you go through a month? Holy smokes. <laughs> as her dad as her dad says, you keep that lip out there like that bird's gonna poop on it. You bet. She's such a diligent worker. She gets done with her nine to five and then goes home and works on the wedding stuff, typing up programs and things and doings that I don't want to deal with. That don't sound good.
news is we didn't start a fire. Bad news is we're done for the day. And that's why we grease so often because we don't want that stuff to happen, but you know it happens. Part of the game. You know, we're not going to worry about it too much because the 10 day is just dry. There's no snow in the forecast and we only have two days of harvesting left. It's just a simple bearing. Dad actually noticed that bearing the other day. It looked like the seal was coming out and so we are just going to watch it and well, we could hear it and one day later it blew out. Throws a little wrench in here because we got a variable rate drive on here and we don't want to mess with that. So it would have been nice if the other side would have broke. Got a ways to go on that one. Looks pretty fancy. So we're back to the south farm. Uh, the wall used to be right there. And then there was another bedroom. Well, we tore that wall out, gave us a couple more feet, and then that's going to be a big walk-in closet. And there's going to be a sliding door. Going to be shelves. This will be all for Tiffany. And then my stuff will be right in this area. And that's about all. That's new. We're also going to take that window out because currently it's a window looking into the garage which apparently is not aesthetically pleasing if you ask my fiance but it's also illegal or against regulation if there's an explosion or something in there blows into the house all right so that's what's new here If I had a dollar for every time you grease this zerk right here, and then you rub the grease on your shoulder, I'd have about fifty dollars. You've never told me that. <laughs> every single time <laughs> you grease that, yeah. And yeah. then I had video of it just rubbing all over you. You have videos, several videos. No, just it? this one right here. Oh, yeah. Well, that's super. <laughs> Thanks for being such a. Oh, you enjoy that. Okay. Now, what was the song of the day? Hmm. I had it. And I lost it. It's gone. Just like your balls and your bearing. Your ball bearing over there on the other side of the combine. Dude. You okay. lost them. Okay. Today while I was sitting in the tractor, I realized there was a washer in my pocket. And I think it stuck to that first bearing that went out. Yeah. And then it fell off while the bearing was in my pocket. Oh. But I think it was... Supposed to stay with the new bearing up top here. The song of the day is Def Leppard Hysteria. Have you heard of it, Cole? No. I bet you have. You just don't know the name of it. You get that there washer and slap it up. Oh. What? Get it on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Don't drop it. I wonder why success starts with the word suck. I did it with the cold hands and they're all like concrete like, you know, like stiff. Why don't you hold on to this cold thing for a while? Why don't you do finger stuff with bolts and nuts? I'd gladly do it. Is that tight? <laughs> yeah. Is it Brian tight? No. Ah. Not trying to break You know stuff. what Brian tight is? Too tight. It's a quarter turn past. It's when stuff starts getting less tight. It's like when you really tighten it and then it starts getting less tight and you think to yourself, self, self I went too far, I'm just going to stop and not tell anybody. And then when it falls apart later, I'll be like, hey, yeah, I don't know what happened. It's <laughs> similar to cross threading and then just putting the impact on it and keep going. Well, thanks for watching, folks. We'll be up and running by tomorrow afternoon, probably lunchtime. But we'll see you next time. Have a good one. So you don't think we can just throw a little grease on that and keep going? Worth a shot. <laughs>